Welcome back to our video series on the non-public data system. Now that we have accessed the system, we will be discussing how the non-public user will enter data. For public users, this will be a unique opportunity to see how the non-public enters data. One of the primary advantages of this new system is that non-public users will have the option of entering the majority of their data in one upload. This minimizes having to enter single numbers, line by line, and computer timeout issues. The new system provides the flexibility to work on entering data into an Excel spreadsheet at your convenience and with the ability to have multiple users work on and verify the data. Once in your SAFE account, click NPDS for the non-public data system. Once in the non-public data system, the non-public user will see their name and IRN in the non-public application search. The non-public user will need to hit the search button. This action will return the details for the non-public school. When the search result is returned, hit the details button on the far right side of the screen. The first tab is the overview tab. The information seen here is imported into the system from the Ohio Educational Directory System, or OEDS. If there are corrections that need to be made for this data, please make the necessary changes in OEDS. Click the Program Selection tab. On the left side of the screen, you have the instructions for uploading Federal ADM, as well as the participation responses. The participation responses selections were made when the non-public first logged onto the system from the Intent to Participate questionnaire. If you would like to edit these responses, click on the blue pencil and make the changes. Click Confirm to submit your program selections. And click OK. The non-public will then select schools for which they would like to report data. These are the public buildings that the students of the non-public would be attending. Click the button that says Add Public School. In the search box, begin to type the name of the district for which you wish to enter data. Notice a list of districts that begin with the word you typed will appear along with their IRN and county. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to choose Columbus Public Schools. Then click the button that says Get Buildings. A list of all of the buildings will be generated. Use the check boxes to indicate the schools for which you would like to report data. You can click as many schools as you wish. Once you've made your selection, click Save. You can continue adding public schools so you have all of the schools for which you wish to enter data and you're ready to generate your spreadsheet. Once all of the public buildings have been selected, click the Create ADM Excel File link. This will create the spreadsheet for which the non-public will enter data. Once the spreadsheet has been downloaded, you'll want to open it and save it to your computer. The instructions are listed on the opening page of the Excel worksheet. Notice this line tells you that the state ADM data is already loaded, so that ADM tab is removed. If you're viewing this Excel spreadsheet at the beginning of the year, you will see two tabs at the bottom of your screen. You'll see Federal ADM as well as State ADM. Another important note, the agency standard for Excel is Excel 2007. If you have an older version, please contact the Office of Federal Programs at 614-466-4161 for options. Please notice the enrollment data 
being collected is a little different than in past years. Eligible students with disabilities, along with LEP, LEP immigrant, immigrant, non-LEP, and migrant will be collected at the district level, as well as the out-of-state enrollment type. Academically eligible and low-income data is collected at the building level in the non-public data system. The data for free price lunch and reduced price lunch data will be reported separately.